What's up everybody? Logan here with Vidivo and today we're going to talk about copyright, royalty-free licenses, and why your YouTube video got taken down. Let's get started. So first things first, what is copyright? Copyright is a type of intellectual property that protects original works of authorship as soon as an author fixes the work in a tangible form of expression. So this can include artwork, photography, music, sound recordings, architecture, content published on the internet, so films, videos, the list is really almost infinite. So since the US Congress passed the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in 1998, copyrighted material has received protections that prevent illegal distribution of the material. So this is why YouTube can remove videos. It gives copyright owners the power to request that YouTube removes videos that they find infringed on their intellectual property rights. Basically all this means is that if you're making a movie and you wanna use a song by your favorite artist, then you need to pay to get the license to that song. But the problem is, is that usually it costs upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it gets a little tricky. For example though, a few years ago, I was making a YouTube video. I wanted to use this very specific song from this very specific kind of obscure artist I found on Spotify. I found their label, I reached out. Uh, basically, I said like, I wanna use the song in a video on YouTube. They said, okay, we, we agreed upon a payment. They sent over a contract, I signed it, then they returned that contract as a digital contract with my signature on it. Therefore, I could give it to YouTube later on. But we'll talk more about that later. For now, let's start talking about royalty-free licenses. So what does royalty-free mean exactly? Royalty-free content is a class of creative assets that other creators can use in their projects for an agreed upon fee. So to put it plainly, royalty-free licenses let you use the work, but not say that you own the work. So say you wanna download a clip on Vidivo. The royalty-free licenses are the most common licenses that we offer, whether it be a free or premium clip. And all this means is that once you download the clip, you can use it forever. It's yours to keep, but this doesn't mean that you own the clip. The copyright remains with the creator, but you don't have to credit the creator when you use that asset. So real quick, Let's go over some bullet points for royalty-free licenses. Download once and use it in as many projects and as many times as you like. You can edit the clip as much as you like. That's one of the best parts about using stock assets is the flexibility with the customizability of the asset. So no matter the aesthetic or color scheme that you're working with, whether it be for a personal project or a client work, sky's the limit basically. You're not required to credit the author of the clip. You may use and publish the clip worldwide on any platform. You may not redistribute the clip in your original form. So for example, you can't take a stock clip, upload it to another stock site and say that you own that clip. Does that make sense? All right, moving on. Where can you find these assets? Well, look no further than Vidivo. We've got clips, songs, sound effects, motion graphic templates, whether it be titles, lower thirds, transitions. And the best part of it is, is it doesn't matter what program you're using. We've got something for everyone. So whether it's Final Cut, Premiere, After Effects, or Resolve, you'll be good to go. Now to answer the big question, why did YouTube take down my video? So let's say you download a clip from our Vidivo library. You wanna use it in a video, you use it in the video, then you upload that video to YouTube, and then you get a copyright claim. Now, one of the reasons why this might happen is because a lot of people have used a lot of the clips that we offer on our site. And so what YouTube is doing is saying like, oh, I've seen this clip before, this person used it. It must be a copyright violation. So they slap a claim on your video. Now, this doesn't mean that your video is gonna go away. All it means is that you're not able to monetize that video and that they are technically checking with the copyright owner to make sure that you're not infringing on someone's intellectual property rights. So now that you have the claim, don't panic. Totally easy to take care of this. All you're gonna do is go into YouTube Studio. You'll see when you click on the claim, one of the first options presented 
is to dispute the claim. And when you dispute the claim, all you have to do is say in the description that you downloaded the clip from Vidivo and include a link to the clip, the original clip, in that description. Um, and then you might have to check a box that says like, I have the license to use this clip. And that's really all you have to do. The longest it should take to go through the approval process is about 30 days. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't take that long. But once you've done this, you're good to go. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below asking us. We'll try to get back as soon as possible. And I think it's worth noting that I've included a link to a blog post I wrote uh, in the description below. And basically I'm going to include all these resources, a much th more thorough breakdown of everything you should know about copyright and royalty-free licenses. Be sure to check it out if you have any questions. And yeah, thanks for watching so much. I'll see you in the next one.